Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to art class number five for in support of Prevent Breast Cancer. It's lovely to have everybody back as per usual, and we're going to have a really good night tonight. We've got a couple of quirky things to draw, something a bit sketchy, and then something a bit more detailed that everybody was asking about last week. Hi to Anne. Hi to Katie. Lovely to have everybody on. Hi, Anne. I keep getting your lovely pictures live from Booth Town. So if you want to comment, add your comments as we go along, and they will pop up on screen every now and again if we can uh, get the technology all on there. So, yeah, we've got Pete back tonight, Super Pete, doing all the technology, which takes all the weight off me. Um, it's nice for him to come back and make an effort this week. Um, the drawing that I do at the start of the class is generally, uh, is generally Pete. Let me just saw my camera out a little bit. <clears throat> Sit back a bit. So, hi, Kira. Hi, Chloe. Lovely to be here. Love the show so much. Thank you, Chloe. Hello, Lisa. First person to ever sign up to my art class in support of Prevent Breast Cancer. So, everybody, welcome. Nice to see everybody. It's good to the, I hope you've all had a good week, stayed safe, done what you're supposed to do. And hopefully, soon we will all be out of this mess, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, we're doing these art classes if it is your first week here. Hi, Del. If it is your first week here, we're doing these art classes in support of Prevent Breast Cancer, who are a cancer charity in Manchester that are very dear to my heart. Um, they do the prediction and the prevention of breast cancer. Um, and they go about it in a different way to most other charities. In fact, they're the only UK charity that actually does that. So predict, prevent, protect. So they get in early, go the, through the genetic route, family genes, etc. And they are based in Manchester. So the big supporters of those and their work is across the world. So it will affect everybody, even if you don't live in Manchester. So they are a, they are amazing charity, amazing people. And I've worked with them for quite a while. Um, so like I said, tonight, I'm going to show you some artwork. I like to show, start the show with um, a bit of artwork. Do you know what, do you know what I said then? Just say start the show. Like I'm some sort of like... <laughs> um, so Womanchester, the Womanchester artwork, which everybody's gone mad for, which is brilliant and it really means a lot to me. I'm going to show you it because I've, I've had it printed because I like it so much myself. I've had it printed and the feedback's been brilliant. So I'm going to show you. Let me just get my drink out of the way so I don't knock everything off. This is printed on a piece of um, acrylic. Look at that. So if you can see the sheen on it, I'm trying not to destroy the studio. You know, loads of people have already ordered it. So if I take it back here, yeah, uh, I'll try and get it in camera. That's Womanchester. So it's all people who've made uh, Manchester, put Manchester on the map, all the women in the history of Manchester, all the way down to Carolina Hearn, etc. Panker, Suffragettes, Hilda Ogden. So that is what it's printed on. That's an A1 print. And that comes on a sheet of aluminium that's laminated. So it is really, really fantastic. I'm just proud of that. So, and if you want one, we've still got some left just about in A2 and A1. Discount code's on the screen. If you go below the video after the class, you can actually get yourself a copy with 10% discount and 10% quite a lot. Um, quite a good discount to knock off. So, hope your arms eased up. Thank you, Katie. Hi, Bobby. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Yeah, my arm is still not very good. This is my bad arm. So, oh, yeah, I've got tennis elbow. Hi, Justin got our woman chested this week. Love it. Thank you, Nicola. Hope you're well, Nicola, Bella, and Alan, I think, up there, up in the northeast. Lovely to have you all back with us again. Um, I know you pretty into this so like i want to see the results later from all of you so that's nikki bella and alan up there um hello to jenny and john vanessa <laughs> vanessa should be on there <laughs> so anyway i'll cut to the chase i'm going on with myself uh right so what we're going to do tonight we're going to do two drawings the first one i've been asked about a few times and i'm going to try and do it in a sort of simple way and not too intimidating let's get rid of pete this is pete by the way, that's what it looks like. What we should do with the classes ongoing, we'll have the adventures of Pete. <laughs> so the first, this, 
and we'll save them all every week. And in the end, we'll bring out a little a little book called The Adventures of Pete. And he, he does wear a headband. He is that sort of person. <laughs> right. Let me sort this out. Here we go. What are we going to do tonight? We're going to sketch some people. What do you think about that? We're going to, you can sketch any people you want. I'm just going to give you a bit of an idea of how to go about it. So these are just people sat in different positions. Obviously, these are all women's physiques. But we'll just go for something that actually gets the proportions of the human body. There's another one. So if you want, I will leave. Uh, let me just, I don't know which one we want. Mm, have I got enough room to leave one on? That's a bit provocative. We'll get that one off. Don't want to be getting banned by YouTube. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. So I'm going to leave those on. If you want to have a little go at it, sketching it yourself, go ahead and just get on with it. You can listen to me and my mank dulcet tones. Another thing we want to do during the class, last week it was really good fun, is comment what you would like to draw on the sixth and final week of the art classes. Um, so the sixth and final week next week, if you want to comment anything you'd like to draw, um, just give me an idea of what you think and we'll see where we go. So I'm going to show you a little breakdown of the human body. And there we go. So very instead of doing really difficult drawings of a human body and taking it it's going back to the thing that i say every single week which is drawing shapes so we start with shapes we put basically all the joints we'll just do as circles or we'll just do as lines and we'll do this sort of shape and when we've got this sort of shape you can then decide what you want to do with it you can put clothes on it you can torso it out like it's really difficult it's doing the camera in reverse um you could try and make this torso like this or just go for a more structured thing like this. So I'm going to attempt that. I've never done this before. I don't really draw full human bodies, but I'm happy to have a go with that everybody else. So let's give it a go. Okay. So I've got a, I'm using a 2H, which is just a bit lighter than um, a HB really. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch out very, very simply, and you could do this the same. I hope you can see this. Tell me if you can. Let's do just some sort of oval egg type head shape. I really want to be an architect, so I'd love some architecture drawing. Oh, gosh. I'm not brilliant at drawing buildings, but I'm happy to give you some advice. Right. What we're going to do, we've got the egg. I'm going to stick a cross in the middle of the egg. Yeah, because your eyes, funnily enough, your eyes are in the middle of your head. And most people don't really get that. It's really difficult to sort of see when you've got somebody with hair. Let's put somebody up here. And you've got hair. Not that I've got hair. Uh, okay. They will always do their eyes somewhere up here. Yeah. Okay. But it needs to be, they've got to be right in the centre, not higher than the middle line or thing. Generally, um, that's what I'd say. So continue this line down. And then if you just have a think, think about, I mean, you can see a lot of the structure there is just leave a little space for the neck. Let's do some shoulders. OK, and then let's go in as the length of our torso. I'm not being very critical because we're only doing this over the sort of warming up start of the class. But your, your human body is generally another weird, freaky fact about set between seven and eight heads high. So if you want to judge a torso that you've drawn, if you go over here, it should be seven or eight heads high. For instance, if that is a head, that is a head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So somewhere in that region, that's how high the body would be. So if we did that as a rule of thumb, you could then do work from that if you want. So torso. And then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to do another triangle here. So as if this is like the waist girdle. OK. And obviously your shoulders generally are wider than your waist. That's the starting point. OK. And we'll go from there. 
will come down as if this is like the groin. So imagine he's got a pair of Superman underpants on. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is let's just draw a straight line down from that. And you can already see just by doing shapes and squares and triangles and circles, we're starting to create somebody, you know, who's coming from somewhere here. Uh, and let's just divide the legs into two. And then we'll divide that again. Divide that again. This is going to be a very straight up and down person. Don't worry about the stances and stuff yet. This is more so trying to get a structure in place. So from the corner of the shoulder, you got the shoulder blade there. Let's just do the arms out there. And we'll, we'll do what they've done. It looks like he's got really little arms now, but he's not. That's his elbow. That's my dodgy elbow there. Okay. And from there, so your elbows generally are in line with your rib cage. So everybody at home, do it now. Feel your rib cage, or if you want to do stand up, <laughs> stand up and feel where your elbow lies next to your body. It should be in line with the, with the side of your rib cage. Right. Hand. Arm comes down, and your hand is generally mid thigh. So I'm going to go there. There, there. Yeah. Does that look sort of like a. Looks like me. Um, okay. So this is the basic structure in place. Let's do the knees. Let's do the feet. And already we're starting to create something that is taking you down this route. You know, it's building the structure of a person. And feet, we can do like they've done, which is easy. We'll split that in the middle. You've then got a human in some sort of form. If you want to break it up again, you can come down here. Neck wise, here is generally. But then you can start to go to. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a heavier pencil, which you might be able to see better. Now, I'm just going to make this up. I've no idea where this is going to go, but I'm going to sketch it now over what is already there. So, we'll see what happens. And you can do this. So, obviously, your shoulders need a bit more of a curve yeah head is a little bit more chiseled girls generally have a more pointed chin than men men have more rounded chins we've already got a bit of a line in place for that we've already got that in place and this is obviously not going to look like anybody but it's just giving you the idea of how then you could turn this into a human physique so i'm gonna go and this is why sketching is really good because you can sort of almost form form the person obviously your forearms are wider in that muscly area there torso comes out of the hips in out in yeah but you can see now so your hips what i've done i've gone a bit wide so I'm, i will use my pencil again to go like that i'm going to do it as if they're naked but i won't draw naked bits i promise okay but if you see from something that you thought maybe you're not able to even attempt you're then starting to pick up a structure of a human and the more loose you are Obviously, your ankles are quite thin. Calf muscles, calf muscles. And you see that you're, getting to, you're starting to get somebody appearing who looks not dissimilar to me in the hair department. Uh, eyes, eyes, eyes is a bit robotic. But you know what I mean? This is now starting to... You've obviously got your centre line. So there's nothing to stop you then giving him the six pack that I have obviously got. Okay. Shoulders are already in place. And this then is taking on, obviously I've only given him a bit of a, a quirky a quirky head, but that is how you would then start to build up a human. And the more you practice, 
you could then draw that freehand. You could then draw it again with some sort of clothes on. You could look at pictures of people in a magazine. Hi, Chris. Like the bird in flight idea. How about drawing an iconic Manchester scene, building, etc., from a photo? Thank you, Chris. Bird in flight. Uh, great art skill. Well, it's been art skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't mind. We'll have a go at bird. Hummingbird I've seen, which looks quite cool. Um, but you see what I mean now? You can just experiment. Just experiment now with maybe add some shading. It might not be right. It doesn't matter. This is a whole point. I say every single week. We're all here for an hour. It just gives you that bit of escape from what's going on in the world. And hopefully, the looser you are, the more you will find that you will start to form an object, um, sorry, people. Um, I'm trying to work out, do you know what I always have to think? <laughs> I always have to think, is your big toe on the inside or the outside? <laughs> That's just me. It's just me. I think mine's on the inside. So your inside is your big toe. It's a bit worrying. <laughs> Dear me. Um, everybody's now thinking about their feet and thinking, how big are my toes? But it gives you an idea. This is the, the main thing is it gives you an idea. <coughs> it gives you an idea of how loose we can draw and make something just feel physically like a person, feel like it's physically moving. Um, we can lose little bits. Because ultimately, if I then go, I'm just gonna do something radical now. So if I just do this very quickly, I'm not rubbing it out, but this just gives you an idea of where else you could sort of practice. You could do the same technique and very very quickly with the same premise okay you could then i'm just literally making this up as I go along you've got exactly the same technique and the same physique if you did a few of them you could spend spend a few hours just creating loads of people. And I'm going to give him the hairstyle that I... Well, no, wait, let, let's make a minute. So we'll give him hands like that, and we'll give him some sort of jazzy, jazzy jeans. Because I used to, way back, if anybody knows any of my story, I used to do uh, character design for in the games industry. So for, like, electronic arts, I did... Uh, I did lots of character design based this sort of thing basically just doing very quick characters and then Pete will appreciate this because uh, he likes his trainers so this sort of thing you could then experiment by starting to pad out, pad out the person and just start giving them clothes. Just start experimenting. I do a lot, I've done lots of things like this in school. It's, uh, it just, you know, it's this sort of quirky, quirky, almost manga style that just, you know, you could start to bring this character to life with all your different ways of shading, sketching. But the looser you are, and once you've got the elements in place, it then gives you the ability to then start to do this sort of thing. Yeah. And it just it just takes on a whole new meaning. It takes on a whole new meaning. It's 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 quite a cool way of creating characters but obviously then if you if you go further and start going down this route you could then give your character some sort of form of movement just very quickly in the same sort of way that you just created it there so 
you start off like that, you get somebody running, you get the dynamic dynamism, dynamism. I don't even know if that's the word. Dynamism of of somebody running. You do the uh, the eyes in the front of the head again, but then you're looking at obviously the body shape is different from the side. So you just have to very quickly. This is just me being very quick. So ignore what I am actually doing, but it's just giving you the idea of. This is how they do fashion illustration, etc. So if that's something that you're interested in, just getting the movement of a body is, is not easy. But the more you sort of mold it, the more you will understand how how something how something works. Yeah. So hopefully that gives you a bit of a starting point for sort of physiques, etc. Um, and it is, it's about, it's about experimenting, it's about sketching, it's about believing that you can make marks on a page and, and enjoy doing it. You should be able to all get to this sort of stage by just creating shapes. I've obviously gone very quickly there. So that is just giving you the idea of structure. You could do a naked torso, you could do clothes, you could do this person facing that way. You just follow everything just follow everything along in the same sort of in the same sort of way you know where his head is you know his body is there you know his legs have got to be that long because that's him it's the same guy and you know his feet have to be in that area so it just sort of do you know what i mean it gives you the that's how you draw sort of people turning around in, in different ways um and i know i've gone very quickly and i do apologize but I wanted to give a quick go at figures because lots of people have asked me about it. And I know that's a, a 10 minute go, but there we go. That was me when I was in school, obviously. Can I just point out my hands are really bad at the minute? I've been doing tiling. Look at my hands. My hands are such a state. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. I put me back on. Here he is. Where's that? Where's the people when you need him? Where is it? He's gone to. There he is. He's half asleep. Next week we'll be doing Pete asleep. Um. So. There we go. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. We're gonna do second half of the class. That was our little warm up and our little sketch. My son Ellis wants to do a shark. We can't believe it's one week left. I know. Sorry, Haley. We've only got one week left. What's that? I'm gone. What's a gone? Helen Williams, what's a gone? I don't know what a gone is. Is that not when somebody's not in? They've gone. Um, right. What we're going to do is what everybody was asking about last week. We chose between the fox and the eye. And this week, we're going to do the eye. Okay. Uh, I need a shave as well. It's getting very personal, this class. So I do apologise. Um, yeah, we're going to do... I'll show you in a sec. We're going to do... If if uh, Pete Pete's in the room anywhere... No, look at him. He's not got a clue what's going on. I can see him on camera and he's like, look, might as well do it myself. <laughs> We're doing this fella. Because people like drawing eyes. I like drawing eyes. And let me get him up to the camera as well so you can have a little nosy. That is an incredible eye. Look at that. That's me at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a go at it anyway between us. I'm going to leave it up there in the corner it doesn't have to have i mean this guy's got silver sort of an eye, silver eyebrow there you don't have to do silver if you can't create that with the pencils that you've got and i'm gonna just put a bit of tape on him so that he doesn't run away stay there man okay <clears throat> and i'm going to talk you through how i would go about it i'm just gonna have a bit of juice okay <clears throat> and i'm gonna do it with a hp because i do appreciate that not everybody has the pencils and the different pencils that i have um but it'll give us an idea of how to start so one of the things i'm going to show you very quickly things that people get wrong with drawing eyes if you've not done an eye with me before i'll just show you what people tend to do so your eye generally is that bit like that okay so that's usually your eye that's the sort of ish shape now, what a lot of people do when they are starting to join us, they'll do this. Okay. And that might look like an eye, 
but he's totally wrong because if that was your eye, this would have to go. I mean, what's it? It's going to be like that. And that's like your, your eye is an absolute perfect circle. In here, that is a perfect circle. And that in the middle is a perfect circle. And I know that's not easy to create with a pencil, but that is what you need. So, for instance, if that's your eye and it's a bit closed and you can only see oh, that much of it, you have to try and remember that if it was a perfect circle like that, I'm going to say that's a perfect circle. I'm trying. Uh, and that would go in there. Yeah. And then you lose that bit and you draw that back in. That is correct because that comes from a perfect circle. So if you imagine this is a donut, and I do like donuts. Yeah. So this is a donut with a circle in the middle. Depending on how much light is entering the eye defines how big that black dot is. So if it's really bright, you can do this yourself. If you go in a room in the dark and put the light on and look in the mirror, your eye, this this part, I think, is it your pupil? I think it's your pupil. Uh, your pupil will shrink and it will go really small because that's a hole, basically, to take you through to the, the lens, which is the camera. So if there was hardly any light in the room, your eye would look like uh, that sort of thing. The eye, this bit, the hole would be a lot bigger because obviously it's trying to let more lighting to hit the back of the lens. There's your biology lesson. Come back next week, we'll talk about anatomy. Okay, <clears throat> so let's have a go at this fella. We'll do the same premise. Where's my HB? HB. I'm going to do just a simple, and I say it every single week, it doesn't have to be identical to this man. It just has to be a representation of a craggy face. So I'm going to go there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for starters. I'm already not happy because I think it's a little bit more open than that. So I'm just going to try a little bit more of that. Right, we'll go from there. Now, if you look at the picture, his eyeball, again, I would just do it as a full circle. It just makes things so much easier because then you know you pretty much cracked it and it goes right down to the bottom. So just be very feathery with your pencil. You can add all the weight to the lines later as we do every week. Um, okay, and then he's obviously this is a... I mean, if you want, here's another way you can do it. Put a cross in your circle. Oops, God, I'm a bit wonky there. Right, so put a cross in your circle if you want to be deadly accurate. And then this goes right in the center like a bullseye. Okay. And we'll just fill it in for now. We can always lose a bit later. Yeah. And that just gives you the idea of how to build up just a very simple structure, which is the eye. And I've got a really good fact for you, which is a really boring, but a really good one, is um, the eyeball and your eye is the only part of your body that stays the same size from being a baby to being a hundred. <sighs> it's the only part of your body that doesn't grow. How mental is that? So your eyeball that you're born with is the same eyeball all through your life. It never gets any bigger. How mad is that? Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Right. Oh, sorry. I was, I'm still using my HB. I do keep digressing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just feather in this bit underneath because we do, again, every week, follow the bits that are the easy bits, I think, and work away from that. Okay. I remember... Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. So we're going to go from there. I'm going to do this big bit up and work out where it comes back in here. So it's sort of just to the right of the eye. And it sort of goes up, up, up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be somewhere near. And then there's another line just above that. We can use this one as reference. So we can get the simple structures in place. 
and that somebody messaged today about um the start drawing portraits it's absolutely fantastic like people just come, have been doing the classes and just been inspired to attempt to draw like the dog or um family members or stuff like it's so brilliant that people are just continuing the classes after Anne cunningham's a good one she sends me lots of things pictures uh i believe you donated to north manchester my sister-in-law works there and she's over the moon oh Haley, yeah um yeah i'm doing some work for uh north manchester general hospital which is the hospital i was born in so yeah i'm doing i'm donating some artwork to that um all right i'm gonna just feather in where his eyebrow is gonna be there above there what else have we got we'll try and put a bit of this in so it's sort of in line so we're going in line with there to there and we're going to come right down and then it comes all the way back in and look i'm not being super accurate i'm just putting very simple lines in and then again there's another one here great great character when i applied for portrait artist last year um i'm crazy i didn't get chosen I think it's just one of them you, your face fits etc um and i was really i, I did self-portrait which is possibly one of the hardest things i've ever done because it does reveal lots um and took me on a little emotional journey but um the picture that i created i was really proud of and i sent it off and stuff and didn't get chosen but then you watch the program i'm like oh my god some of these people are rubbish um but they do things so different so different um different techniques and the way people draw so i'm hoping everybody's managing to get some of this down you know all these lines of following down here i'm literally just putting in for reference he's got this really veiny bit there and he's got a bit of a thing going on there uh, okay and the corner of his eye is somewhere there just gonna feather in a bit of that and then we can start adding all the all the fine elements in a minute <clears throat> so that's starting to already look like something we will find out where i'm not sure whether this bit is high enough at the top here but you know i'm not i'm not gonna lose any sleep over it to be honest if we cover that up and we shade this in and make it look really good you'll be happy you don't need to look at it you're not trying to win a competition for the one that's most accurate we're just trying to create a drawing using simple sketching techniques and eventually you will end up with something that you can be proud of that you thought i can't draw that in a million years yeah let's have a look down here we've got this sort of craggy bit going on here I apologise if this man is watching this class, whoever this is. Uh, right, and we've got all this shading here. I'm just going to give that an idea of where it's going to go. So uh, a few things to say, which I've not said yet, is obviously Prevent Breast Cancer we are supporting. Um, so everybody who's here tonight, you are making a difference. Was, so thank you from me and the charity. I will be sending a donation across after our last class um and then see see how that goes and then we'll we'll see what um see what we want to do next basically i'm going to take a couple of weeks off just to recharge my own batteries because it's not the easiest thing i know it turning up at an art class every week <clears throat> takes a bit of planning a bit of structure a bit of time the time after and all that sort of stuff so i'm gonna have a little break myself right i'm just gonna just feather in where ish just this sort of stuff and it, again it doesn't look like anything right now but that's where we can sort of take a step back and look at whether it's right or not okay right and i think i think we're quite happy with that for a starting point and now the fun is now we've done that part 
I know one thing that is wrong is if you look at this picture here, this this side, oops, this side from here to here is a lot shallower than mine. I'm obviously going to shade it more, but I'm just going to just change my picture slightly. I'm just going to bring that in. And we'll we'll close it up more with shading. So it's a bit more like that, I think. Right. So on my arm, oh my arm. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. You'll realise tennis elbow's not good. Right, where's my sharpener? So this is where we need well sharpened pencils to try and get all this defined detail. So I am now going to use, I'm going right in with the heavy stuff, 6B. So the 6B is going to bring all this to life and watch the difference this will make. So I'm going to start, obviously, with the heaviest bit of shading on the page, which is this eyelid here. So I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to define that. And then we'll build that up and see where we get to. Hopefully everybody's getting a, something that looks like ish i mean it's pretty much just black in there so we'll go black not easy around the camera yeah when you finish tonight if you could tell people let's see if let's see if we can break the record for the most people on an art class the last week just tell people let's get everybody on um and then going forward if you get in touch let me know if you want to do more art classes or not i enjoy doing them for you and i enjoy being able to inspire people and hopefully give people an idea of something they might want to do that they might never have even thought of doing. If it's something you want to do, continue with. I might do some either master classes or I might just do more classes. I don't know yet. I'm just got to decide. But I will be driven by demand, I suppose. So if people are still interested, let me know after the final week. And next week, I am going to do something that I said I might do next, last week um, for the final class is I want to do a Q&A at the end because it's the last one. So um, I think it'd be quite nice just to have a put a face to people maybe. So maybe do if people will do a way of I don't know how many people you can get on Zoom. Um, we'll either do it on here or we'll do it on Zoom. And we'll all we'll all get to meet each other just very briefly, and we'll we can chat about the classes. I think that might, might be a quite nice thing if anybody's interested. I might be just talking rubbish. Uh, okay. Um, and when you've done your picture tonight, if you could share it on Instagram or Facebook, or just send it me. Let's see what everybody's done. All right, we're just trying to contort around the camera. Uh, we're starting to get something. It's a bit angular down here, but uh, trying to contort. But you see the difference already? Just adding little elements to it. I'm going to get this really nice little vein in there. Really feathered vein. Might just stick another few in for artistic license just to make it look a bit interesting. Uh, okay, we'll go there. You can tell I've drawn a lot of eyes. I do really like drawing eyes. I think eyes tell you so much. That's what I found hard about uh, when I did my self-portrait because it was I did it just after I lost my dad, um, and that was particularly difficult. But I think drawing the portrait really helped, even though it did reveal lots of lots of my sad face. So, okay, so this is basically like that. So it is just very gently, almost that short shape. It's almost curved over. I should say hello to my mum, actually. I don't know if she's on tonight. She usually is. Um, but I don't know if she knows how to comment. She can barely use Zoom, so... Like I said last week, when we do... when we. If you ever FaceTime my mum, <laughs> she can see me and I can see the inside of her ear. 
Oh dear. Uh, right. Okay. So it's a bit heavier down here. Okay. And a little heavier in this corner. Sort of bits and bobs going on here. Just suggesting. And then they've got this really sort of weighty, almost a straight line there. I'm just going to. You know, we could spend hours on this. I've, I say that lots. Now, if you look at the skin around all here, it's sort of pimply, pimply bobbly is what I'm going to say. So an easy way of doing pimply bobbly is I'm going to show you. Let's just make that really dark in there because it is really dark in here. Oh, my arm is absolutely killing Oh, man. Uh, gosh. I'm, gonna, I'm just having to keep my arm in one position. Yeah, so that's really dark structure. And that's probably lower down. Right. Yeah, so what I was saying about um, shading-wise for the pimply bobbly is just do little circles. So little circles. Get little circles in all the areas where you think there's shading. So we'll, we'll just do that for starters. Very, very light and almost very scribbly. You see? Circle, circle, circle. Nothing amazing. But look at that. You've got pimply bobbly. Pimply, wait. This way, this way. There. Yeah, pimply bobbly there. Look. And then... Just pass over it again. Little circles, little circles, little circles. This is darker up here. Lighter here. And then down here. Keep the circles going. And you start to build up that those little areas of shading. And still, it doesn't come down enough. So don't be scared to correct what you've got and then I'm going just gonna literally almost feathering over the page and turning the pencil around so you get some of the sharper edges as well okay that's sort of looking all right now he's got this lighter area which we could probably bring out with the an eraser or with the putty rubber and also this is a lot darker than I actually have done it so I'm going to build on that a little. And I'm going to just try and feather some of this in. We've not even touched the eye yet. But it's giving you an idea of just ways to ways to build build it up. Uh, right, what have we got? So a bit more light, a bit more heavy here. Again, under here is heavier. And it goes all the way to this corner. And this is the advantage then of having um, a set of pencils. If you've got a set of pencils and you want to, and you can afford to sort of get the the set that will make it easier to draw with, then it does make life so much easier to draw, and you will enjoy experimenting. And now I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut out that bit. And I'm going to curve there, and I'm going to go sort of over there. I'm just going to stick in just that randomness there. So that's going to be the highlight. Oh, God. All right, and I'm just going to change pencil, and I'm going to do a bit of stuff, technical term, bit of stuff. Go in, in here, just a bit more lines, a bit more stuff going on. It's obviously not, it's a bit veiny. And this almost wants to be, it almost wants to be grey. It's a, almost a grey. Just give it at least a bit of a, that. And I'm just going to take that out of there just to show you. So it's almost got a bit of a grey tinge to it, and we can at the end, and I will do at the end, 
um, take some of this away. The minute is just getting elements in there. Now, very sharp, a very fine pencil. So one of your H pencils, preferably. Yep, two H I'm going to use. So we can get very, very fine lines. That is like a needle. So we're going to go from the center, actually. One second, let me just go back to my heavy one. I'm going to put this black dot in. Iris. And obviously now we've we've created a little extra bit there. I think that's right. Not bad anyway. It's not bad. I've left that bit there at the top, obviously, because we're, we're going to leave that till the end. Uh, I'm going to get this bit here, which you can sort of see on the picture. Not sure what that is, but it's going in. And we'll follow it. Follow it around. You can use this artistic license. And then over here, again, just as if that's that's that bit of the eye. And then there's obviously all the lines that fan out from the center. So if your middle of your eye is that, oops, oh, there you go. All the lines fan from the center of this structure. So let's just put lots of faint lines in as if they're going to the center of that. So work your way around like it's a wagon wheel. I love wagon wheels. Just not as big as they used to be, are they? Uh, right. Okay. Well, we're going to sharpen the pencil again. Very sharp pencil for eyes, for the detail. Hope everybody's getting this. Right. So very sharp. This will probably break a little bit now because it's a soft pencil. I'm going to bring that back in again. I'm going to make that a lot darker again. Because I want that. Uh, just going to build that up and then I'm going to start doing these little circles again with this one just to start bringing this highlight out and just sort of just sort of um, I don't even know what word I'm trying to find suggest maybe okay it's not bad it's not bad uh and then down here again circles this is very dark down here i will speed up my shading a slightly i don't want to rush the end though and spoil it okay but it is, it's about picking out these really heavy areas. Uh, uh, I know how this guy feels, actually. Uh, just start to promote some of this shading into different little cars. Uh, We'll start putting some of these weird lines in that just give it a bit more realism. It's got a bit of this thing going on here. Soften some of this up. And we've got to forget as well. I've got um, got a blending stick as well, which gives you an advantage for shading. I can barely feel my arm. Oh gosh. Okay. You see how I like to share things. People are like, stop moaning about your arm. Right. I'm going to, again, little bits here. Little bits here. You know, yeah, I would spend, to do this nice and do it really well, you're probably looking at a couple of hours. So I think to get anything that looks... Vaguely like a nice big old uh, old man rise. We should be should be happy. Okay, <sighs> right, and then there's a gap there. There's lots of heavy shade in there. Mm. 
with creases, creases. This is very dark. This is where the advantage of having a good set of pencils makes the darker areas better. Oh, jeez. Uh, right, and then over here we've got this bit. I'm trying. Might make a little bit of a mistake here. Okay. I'll try and get the the. I think I'm literally just gonna try and just give this a bit of a impression of what's what's there. All right, just doing little sort of scribbly bits, which is not technical, I know, but you get the idea. So I'm curious to see. So if you again, like I say, share on Instagram. I always share the stories of everybody. If you send me a picture, I'll share it to my story. And we tend to get quite a lot of comments then about it. Um, a few other things, what else can I say? Facebook, share on Facebook as well. Okay. Um, and tag me in, that would be lovely. I'm gonna to start to add now bits more to this, a bit more weight. With the fine, fine bit of this. And this is where your artistic license comes in now. You know it's correct, the picture. It's then a case of how do we make it look better? I'm going to just try and make it look, because obviously it's a fluid. It's trying to make. Yeah, it's starting to pop off the page and leaving that bit white, you can see now how critical that is to what this eye looks like. This is a good way of just add more very, very fine lines in there. I'm going to have this bit, he's got a bit of a darky bit here. Because the more random this is, but still based on the structure, the more it's going to look real realistic. Again, I want this here. Got a bit of these bobbly bits. Okay. And that's, even though that is a... Yeah. And now all this stuff down here is, I don't even know what this is. It's just a bit creased. Um, but you can see, you, we start out with literally a shape again. We, we'll, we'll eventually end up with this old looking eye that's quite realistic, hopefully. See, I'm just putting really heavy lines in now. Just softening up a bit of the corners. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, next week is our last class. I think I'll be sad actually, soft as I am. Because um, I've done this now for 12 weeks. I deserve some sort of MBE or something. Um, 12 weeks, we did six weeks of free classes, free for just getting people going and get going. And then I thought, well, let's try and raise a bit of money for charity along the way, do something good. Um, and it's just grown and escalated. Last week we had, I say, uh, we have people in Perth doing it every single week. Um, ow. Um, which is amazing. We have Mandy and Jeff in Texas every week, which again is amazing. We have people doing these at the weekend. I got, I had uh, another email and pictures of somebody doing uh, the class with the whole family. And she said the daughter doesn't even like art. And she managed to get her to sit down Sunday. And they all managed to just do some drawing together, which was crazy and brilliant. Uh, right. So this is, as you can see, I like drawing eyes. Hopefully people are getting something like 
what they can see on screen. Um, so yeah, to, to get some ideas of what you want to do, just message me next week for our last class. I hope everybody can join us. And if anybody is interested, we will do a uh, Q&A at the end. I'm just going to speed that up by just, just, I should be using a blender. It's not bad though, is it? It's not bad. Uh, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Still needs a bit more of this. Right, so now I'm going to sharpen it and try and get a bit of this eyebrow, just a little bit. Uh, and I'm literally not going to do anything dramatic. Look what I'm actually doing. So we'll start here. I'm not making any attempts at recreating what's there. I'm just suggesting it. And that is that is your artistic license right there. You can see what some of them are doing. Um, you can see some of them curling over. You can see some of them doing that. So as long as we've got things in place that look like eyebrows, again, more random the better. So let's get them in. The, let's get the basis in place. Okay. And then I'm going to do something. We'll do a bit of magic in a minute. Uh, and then put with hair. Obviously, it needs a root, but there are bits in there that are very, very dark as well. So little bits where you can sort of see through it. And I'll try next week to not moan about my arm so much. But as you can hear, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to straighten my arm after this. Uh, right, and then this is dark. So I'll we'll just start to suggest that in there. Okay, and I'm not going to finish it off. It seems a shame, actually. It's not got a face to go with it. But let's do that. And then up here, again, I'm going to put some of these lines in. Get carried away now. Okay, I think we're not far off. We're only a couple of minutes to the end of the class. It's sad. But I'm going to just do a couple of things. I'm going to use the putty rubber. And I'm going to just put a couple of these wrinkly lines in up here. It's quite good, this. I've never actually drawn this fella before, but I quite like it. Okay, starting to look real. Uh, right, I'm just going to putty rubber a couple of bits. In fact, I'm just going to go over that bit. Uh, just to give that a bit. I'm just going to putty rubber his, his white bit here. So that actually properly pops out. And then I can put dark and that. Like that. And then yeah so that gives the impression there of more light and again i'm gonna just putty rubber this edge just slightly and a little bit around there just to pop that out again putty rubber again in here oh do you know what i've got blue tack in my in my office here and I'm not sure whether I'm using blue tack here or, or putty but I'm see what I'm doing I'm just promoting little little areas that I want to just stand out a bit better and I'm gonna just artistic license a little here and here I'm gonna go improve that bit just to pop that out improve that bit and it's got little highlights there as well. 
And I'm going to use the PS the resistance, my Posca pen, just to bring in that fluid. You see that fluid bit? Just to finish it, and I'm going to just pop out there a bit, just to give it a little bit more. A bit of jazz. Yeah, looks quite good. I like it. And I'm going to just go over there because I've got a Posca pen. I can probably do this a bit better. Let's give you the idea of how with a Posca pen you can sort of take it away from the page. I just stick a few random ones in there as well. Push it up a bit. Push it up. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And that is that is me twenty twenty one. Do, 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 do. And we'll lose this fella because we don't need him anymore. And that is what we've created. Pretty realistic eye. Um, and that is the end of the class. We've, we're there. We're at eight o'clock. Hopefully everybody's enjoyed that. If you come back to me, you can see how much pain I'm in. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Um, I'll try not to complain about it next week. But, yeah, my tennis elbow is literally, I can't straight on my arm. <laughs> um, so thank you for joining me once again. <sighs> week five, prevent breast cancer. We will make a difference together. Give me some ideas, get in touch about what you want to do on the last week. Um, whether we want to do a Q&A after, whether you want to chat with me, etc. Um, and let's go to Prevent Breast Cancer. Have a look at their donate to their website. We've got a 10% discount on my Womanchester artwork. So have a look at that if you're interested. Go on the link below. I think it's below the video. You can get 10% tonight and on future classes, etc. as members of my community. So thank you to everybody. Everybody's commented. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Brill night. Get a cheeky wine. Thank you, Anne. I will be getting a cheeky something straight after, including painkillers. Um, and it's lovely to have everybody here every week, last week, next week. And then if you want me, I will come back and we'll do something else. We'll put something else in place. So if you want me back, I'll come back. But we'll give it a, we'll have a couple of weeks break while I recharge and sort my arm out. Lovely to see you all tonight and take care and look after each other and stay safe. See you next week.